let us learn about the basic terms related to probability. So the first thing that comes in our mind is the random experiment. And random experiment is an experiment whose results depend on chance and cannot be predicted in advance is called random experiment. For example, rolling a die. Any of the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 definitely appear. But we don't know which number will appear. So rolling a die is definitely a random experiment. Next is the event. What is an event? The outcome of a random experiment is an event. For example, two cards drawn from a pack of 52 cards are of the same suit is an event. Also, if we toss a coin and get a head, that is also an event. Then is the sample space. The set of all possible outcomes of a random experiment is called the sample space. For example, we toss two coins and we get the sample space as H H H T T H T T that is head 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 tail tail head tail tail that is head for the first coin head for the second coin head for the first coin tail for the second coin and so on. Then is the mutually exclusive event. Events are said to be mutually exclusive when no of them can occur simultaneously. For example, ruling a die, the even A. 1,5 and B, 2,3, 4,6 are mutually exclusive as no events can occur at a time because when 1,5 is occurring, 2, 3, 4, 6 can never occur. Then is the exhaustive event. Events are said to be exhaustive if at least one of them necessarily occurs. That is rolling a die. Events A, 1,2, B, 2,3, 5 and C, 1,4, 6 are exhausted since if we take the union of these three events we get one two three four five six that is a sample space and which is a shear event then is the equally likely event a number of events are equally likely if none of them can be expected to occur in preference to the other that is if we toss a coin the event that a head or a tail appears are equally likely events because we can either get a head or a tail. There is no preference to the other. Thank you.